Today is a training day for robot-assisted and image-guided minimally invasive thoracic surgery. This is cutting-edge surgery, combining all types of computer-assisted tools to perform ARAS. The advantage for the patient of combining robots and imaging is that we can routinely perform pulmonary segmentectomies in a simple, reproducible way. This is a complicated procedure, especially for very small lesions near the intersegmental plane. So it's highly technical and really difficult to do without all these tools. We routinely need 3D reconstructions, and that's where Therapixel helps us to streamline with a super-fast server and software. We can also simulate pre-surgery planning using this platform. The young and not so young can train to use the scanners, study the results with reconstructions, and see the benefits of this image. Therapixel is therefore an essential partner in the routine development of this imaging. Therapixel provides logistic support. The software is an imager that helps us make decisions. Plus, there's a large screen in the operating room, so we're in the image all the time, in the planning, and we can check what we're doing. This is a totally different culture made essential by minimally invasive surgery. In the past, if we opened someone up and there was an anatomical variation we had to manage, now the surprise element no longer exists. When we present these reconstructions, there's not one surgeon who says, I don't need that. Everyone's in agreement there. We've already come a long way with robotic technical assistance. What will leap forward in the next five years is image-guided assistance, preoperative imaging, intraoperative imaging, and probably virtual imaging that will be combined and merged with operative imaging. Plus, if we run into difficulties, experts are on hand to provide cognitive assistance and real-time technical solutions. That's how I see surgery evolving in the future assisted by hand, by robot, but also by imaging and reflection.